Hello everybody! Welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We are going to be painting these adorable little uh, bunny behinds uh, and you can paint this for fun or make it into an Easter card. But I'm going to show you how to draw these bunnies first before we start painting them. It's a very simple process. So for the first one, the three layered one, you just draw three circles that are slightly overlapping one another and each circle gets progressively smaller. And then two shapes like this for the bunny ears. And all you do is you erase the, uh, the second line for each overlapping circle. So like one, two, one, two, you would erase this one. And then you have this cute little uh, bunny behind. Don't forget to add a little um, tail as well. And then for the second one, it's the exact same thing, except it's just going to be a two, a two layered one. So again, we erase the bottom and don't forget to add the tail. It's as easy as that. So once you have that, um, you want to erase the pencil marks so they're just light enough for you to see. Uh, but not too dark because we don't want them to show through the uh, watercolor. Okay, so here I'm just using uh, my size 1 Grumbacher brush. And I'm going to start with the top. Um, so we're just going to go from the ears downwards. And because it's the back of the bunny rabbit, we don't have to really worry too much about details like the you know, white or pink fluffy parts of the inside of the ears or anything like that. It's just all going to be one solid color, um, brown, but we are just going to use our white space to help us achieve the few details that are still present on this little bunny. And there are some easy things you can do to really, you know, increase the detail. You can add shading to some portions of the ears. So I'm going to just be adding shading to the left portion of each ear. I'll go back um, in a moment. By the way, the brushes that I use are linked in the description of this video. So if you're interested in acquiring some of them, um, I really recommend both the Grumbacher and the Windsor & Newton collection. Great brushes. I'm just going a little bit bigger. I'm using my size 8 by Grumbacher. Or Grumbacher, sorry, I always probably mispronounce that. Um, so we're moving right into the head of our rabbit here. And the thing you want to keep in mind here is that we are going to be leaving a very thin white space between this layer and this layer. So just uh, be very mindful of that when you're painting the head. Just like that. And we're gonna move into the second layer now, making sure to leave that white space in between the two layers there. And the other thing I just wanna mention that you can do instead of leaving a thin white space is just you know paint the entire thing brown and then use white watercolor to add a line that separates all three layers. That's an option for you as well, um, and it probably would be a little bit easier, but I just want to stick with watercolor as much as I can, because not everybody has white acrylic paint. Or a, like a, uh, what are those called? Those marker, whiteout, there we go. The whiteout pens. So you guessed it, we're just moving into our third layer here, making sure to leave that very thin white gap and making sure to leave our white tail white. And 
And we're going to do the exact same thing for the second bunny here. You can even make it a slightly different color. So I'm going to just darken my brown quite a bit and make it uh, a little bit darker just so that there's a little bit of variety. I should have used my smaller brush here for the detail work. Moving on to our head, so I'm just connecting the ears to the head. And again, I'm leaving that white gap. And again, don't forget to leave the little white space for the fluffy tail. Perfect. And there we have our two little cute bunnies. Um, I'm going to go ahead in with more shading here. Um, so this is kind of the basic of it, but you can definitely uh, add more shading, more detail and so on just to um, really spruce it up. Okay, so the last detail that we can add to really make this extra cute is just some blades of grass along the bottom here. And um, you can either just, I'll show you on this piece of paper before we do it, you can either kind of just draw like a very uh, rough green line going across like so, or you can paint little uh, like blades of grass individually like this spanning across um, the whole thing and I you know I'm not sure what I'm gonna do sometimes I do a bit of both sometimes you know I like to spruce it up um, so I, maybe I'll have some blades of grass just coming out like so a little bit on the other side And you can even add some um, other green highlights. So if you have a second uh, color of green or shade of green, you're welcome to add that in as well. If you don't have a second green, that's fine. You can just you know grab some black and mix it in with the green that you do have, and it'll create a darker green that you can use to paint in little highlights or lowlights, shadows in your grass. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, very easy Easter Bunny tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in the next tutorial.